Oh my gosh, you guys. So sorry, I am running late. Um, but it's for so exciting reason. I was actually talking to Mark Montano. Do you guys know Mark Montano? He is an amazing crafter that uses a lot of bright colors. And if you are not familiar with him, go look him up on YouTube because um, he's just such a great guy. And I'm slowly, you know, getting to know him better and talk to him. And there's Miss Vicky. Hi. Hi, Miss Vicky. Um, but yeah, it's, I would love to have chatted for God knows how much longer, but I was sitting there talking to him on the phone and I'm thinking, I got my life to do it too. And I'm ready. And I felt bad because of having postponed already. But um, I'm here. I'm here now. And I'm, oh, you guys, what a whirlwind lately. So I didn't even, I haven't even chosen the winner yet. Um, haven't I haven't done anything this day is running <laughs> um you're not the only one here Vicky there is there are 10 people on here so say hello if you are one of those 10 people and let me know that you're here and you know what I might do today is okay you know what what I want you to do is put in Awesome. What I want you guys to do. Hi, Lois. Lois made it. And uh, Meninder, you told me last time the name to call you. I don't remember. And Tina. So do me a favor, guys. I am going to choose from one of you today that's actually here since I haven't had a chance to um, actually go in and pick from the way I normally pick. So tell me your name. So Brenda, Tina, Lois. Uh, Vicky and oh my gosh let's see and I know some people are going to tell me that's not fair I couldn't be on there and I apologize for that guys but do remember that I am just just doing something a nice thing and giving something away so you can't really be like it's not like you bought a ticket for it so I'm just trying to do something nice and Della okay you know what I don't know how this is going to work out because I don't have anyone here that can write these down for me as they come in <laughs> um but um oh boy this should be a really interesting live huh <laughs> Taylor Radonna Yvonne this is so cool. So um, I don't know how I'm going to reach out. Well, I guess actually, if you guys are on here, whoever I choose at some point um, will obviously know that they're the winner. So that will work out really well. And then I can just have you get me your con contact info. So Jewel, I'm good. Thanks. I am good. I feel a little bit scattered today. So let me kind of back up and tell you guys a little bit what happened. Um, I'm going to be writing while I'm talking, so I may really lose even more my train of thought than I normally do. But so keep me on track, guys, if I if I do get sidetracked. So um, the first is when I normally go live was, um, gosh, what, I don't know, whatever day it was, we had gone to our cabin and I had gathered together all my stuff my laptop, my camera, my computer bag, my everything, my chargers, the whole bit, and um, had it on the chair ready to go and forgot it. And, but to back up to tell you, oh, thanks, Della, to tell you what was um, going on, my husband and I had planned that we were going to leave, I think it was um, uh, Wednesday night for our cabin, but then both of us were a bit tired, so we decided we were going to leave Thursday morning. Well, he's a really early morning guy and I'm not such an early morning girl, as you know, from being a midnight crafter. Right. Uh, so he decided he was going to take the dog and they were going to get an early start and go and that I would show up later. Well, that they left at 6 15 AM, which not going to happen over here. <laughs> and I woke up at, 
I don't know, eight o'clock, whatever it was, I was sitting in bed, I have my morning routine, I journal, I read my Bible thing, and I read the little passage thing, whatever, I have my little routine. So it takes me a bit. And then after I finish that, I check emails and all that kind of good stuff. And so as I was sitting there in bed, not quite ready, I'm finishing up my stuff, I got a phone call from my cousin, who I had just seen a week before, and he lives about three hours away from us, and we had just visited him, so I thought that was a little odd that he'd be calling me, and he's in his, um, I want to say, late 70s, early 80s, so we're first cousins, but we have a huge age gap, so Anyway, he called me and I was like, hey, how are you? You know, he says, well, I'm good, but my son's not so good. And I thought, oh, gosh, what's happening? Well, it turns out his son was working a job that's um, near where I live. So, again, my cousin's three hours away and his son was working closer to where I live. Well, his son... Um, Sorry, sorry, I was reading something here because I have to put this name in our little drawing thing. Um, his son is working a job and he ended up getting really, really sick. So I don't know if it was food poisoning or what it was, but the poor guy had it coming out from all ends, let's just say. And just he didn't know if he had a fever. He was miserable. This has been going on since 2 a.m. And my cousin didn't know what to do for him from three hours away and said, you know, I don't know if he needs to go to urgent care or emergency, but something's definitely wrong with him. And so I told him, don't worry, I got it. I didn't tell him that I was leaving for our cabin because I didn't want him to feel bad, but it's family, right? You do what you got to do for family. So I inhaled some breakfast. I didn't even put makeup on. I barely washed my face and brushed my teeth, threw some clothes on and headed to my cousin's son, who is also my cousin, which in the Greek tradition, he we consider that more like a nephew. So for the sake of my story, I'll say my nephew. So anyway, called my nephew, raced over to him. The poor guy had called in the meantime housekeeping at the hotel he was staying and um, to ask them if they could come clean up because he didn't make it. And let's just say I don't need to be graphic, but it was very, very ugly in his bathroom. So, um, and what did housekeeping do? Because they have a policy that they can't clean while someone's in the room. He, they ended up bringing him up a bucket and a mop. So this poor nephew of mine, sick, throwing up, diarrhea, fever, dehydrated, and they bring him a bucket and a mop so he can clean up his own mess. Anyway, we checked him out of the hotel. I took him to urgent care and spent the day there with him um, until he was hydrated. They had him on IVs and all that and got him feeling better. Took him to his vehicle where he insisted he was going to drive back home a three hour drive, which ended up being probably closer to five hours because he had to make multiple stops along the way. Poor guy. And um, so that really threw me off. So then I was already a half hour in the direction of our cabin, but had to come back home so I could get all my stuff because I left in a hurry to help him. And I forgot my laptop bag. So that was a really long story to show you, tell you why I didn't have my camera on my laptop. But it's also the reason why today I'm frantically trying to edit a video because I was gonna do that at our cabin, but since I didn't have my laptop, I couldn't edit the video that's supposed to go out tomorrow. So I'm hoping <laughs> that I'll be able to get that done. Um, in the meantime, we had ordered a coffee table and that came in today and had to go pick it up. So that kind of killed my morning. And then I got the call from Mark Montano, the crafter, and he was chatting with me up until three minutes after two when I needed to be on here. So my day has completely run amok. Um, Saturday and Sunday, it was a holy Saturday for us. If you're an Orthodox Orthodox Christian, um, Easter was yesterday for me. So I spent the whole day at my parents' house with family. And um, so I also didn't get anything done. So it's been a whirlwind. So Gordhead22, tell me what your name is so I can add you in for the drawing because I'm keeping a list and I'm going to do that in just a couple minutes, but I wanted to give people a chance to um, get 
in here before I do the drawing. Oh, hey, Carrie. Carrie's here too. Um, so anyway, my gosh. So I've been, I had a, a project that I worked on that I got one week off and one week um, that I wasn't able to get stuff done. So as you probably noticed that I skipped or you may not have noticed, but yeah, so I've been trying to play catch up on that too. Um, Oh my goodness, there's lots of you guys on here today. This is awesome. Um, and Miss Tammy, Tammy's here too. I hope you're feeling well, Tammy. So I've gotten to know a few of you a little better because of a couple of events that I have put on online and a couple of Zoom calls I've done, which makes it really fun for me because I get to know you a little more than me talking to my camera to you guys and watching your comments. So, um, oh my gosh, I have to, let's see here. I have to go back here for one sec because, um, okay. Whoops. <laughs> Felut, that's a very interesting name. Where is that name from? So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I think what I'm gonna do, I know what I'll do. I'm gonna number them. And actually, I'm going to number them super randomly. And bear with me for just a minute here. I know those of you watching this on um, playback are probably going to be kind of yuck. Like, what is this all about? But sorry. <laughs> it's, it's about the people that were able to be on here right now so that I can try and get somebody... Um, Get somebody a keychain. So hang with me for just another minute and I will get these numbered and then we're gonna pick our winner. Um, so I show that I have 30 of you on here right now. Oh, there's, so I wanna make sure, oh, there we go. I want to make sure that I've got everybody that's on here's name in here as well. So, all right. Are you guys ready? So I'm going to have to do, how am I going to pick a number? Because um, somebody, let's see, how do I do this? I need a random number. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to call my husband and tell him <laughs> Pick a number. I think I'm completely out of my mind. So I'm calling my hubby right now. And I'm going to ask him. I'm going to put him on speakerphone. But I'm going to tell him he's on speakerphone so you guys can hear this. <laughs> yes. Okay. You're on speakerphone. And I'm on live. And I need you to pick a number between... One and uh, twenty-eight. Oh wait, one and one and um, sorry, one and twenty-nine. One and twenty-nine. That will be twenty-seven. That will be twenty-seven. All right, you guys. I'm gonna look. Okay, thanks, love. Thanks. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> he picked twenty-seven, and that is Talisa. So, Talisa, if you are on here still, because I know a few people dropped off, and I hope that you're still here. Are you still on here? Um, I know there's a bit of a delay, so I'm going to wait a minute for Talisa to respond. Are we Zooming today? Sabrina, oh my gosh. So, someone else <coughs> asked me that as well, and... Um, I was going to probably not do that. Oh, good. Talisa Perry. Yay. Talisa's our winner, you guys. So congrats. Talisa, send me your mailing address at, um, what's my, EP Midnight Crafter. No, sorry. Midnight Crafter 65 at gmail.com. Midnight Crafter 65 at gmail.com. Talisa Perry, send me your uh, address and let me know what color keychain that you would like. We'll bling owl keychain and I'll get it out to you ASAP. So that was kind of a fun way to do it. I don't know if my husband was 
like to do that every time. But I feel like um, you guys won't believe that so many times these every month that I pick a winner that um, they never respond. So I don't know if they just never see my video or or what it is. Probably they just never see the video or they never watch the playback to know that they were the winner. So it is kind of fun for me to do it. And I might start doing that. And whoever's on these lives will be able to be a winner because it's a lot more fun that way, I think. And you guys are all here and it's a fewer um, number of people to choose from. But um, okay, so let me think. I did not get a chance to write any notes down. And usually I like to write notes down of what stuff I want to talk about with you guys. And I did not do that. So is there anything going on with you all or any of you that you'd like to chat about? Oh, sorry, I did get sidetracked. So I was thinking about doing the Zoom, but then I was thinking of not doing the Zoom because a couple of reasons. Um, let me know in the chat if you would be able to hop on the Zoom. If we were to do one like right after this, if you'd be able to hop on. Because last time I did it and I ended up with five people on it, which is awesome. And I love that because we get to chat. Um, oh, you like this way the best, Lois? I think it's kind of more fun. And the Zoom was, Vicky was on there last month. The Zoom was really fun last month. Um, so... I know, right? Right, Della? My husband didn't miss a beat on that one. <laughs> and I had to make sure that I told him he was live because otherwise I, you never know what he might have said. So, <laughs> Heather, we are talking about which part of what am I talking about are you talking about? So anyway, we did the Zoom last time. It was super fun. Um, but a lot of people I had asked if, if, you know, they would be on there. And a lot of you said, yes, you would switch to the Zoom. I don't know if you couldn't get in or what was happening. Well, hello, Miss Lori. Yes, he, Lori knows my husband and he never misses a beat. That is true. Um, you don't know how to Zoom, Jewel? Okay, well, Zoom is, so I usually try and do this live for sure for a while. I don't want to cut anybody off just to get over to Zoom and then lose a bunch of you because, the fact is that we have a lot more of you here than we would have on Zoom. But um, it is so much fun if you just go download the Zoom app and then I will put the link. I guess I would have to put the link in my um, community tab on my YouTube. And then you can look there and click on the link for the Zoom and join in. But what happened last time is we had... Um, we had a, a person that was kind of, what do you call it? There's my hubby. You didn't miss a beat. They appreciated that. Oh, sure. <laughs> you have to be useful. You're always useful. Um, so anyway, and, and that person was just saying stuff. And what do you call those people? Um, um, uh, I can't think of the name. Um, oh, my gosh. The people that get on there and they just say stuff to disrupt it. Thank you. Troll. Yes. Yes. We had a troll on there last time. And what made it difficult is that there's so many different names of all of you that were going to be hopping over. And this person kept changing their name and kept getting in saying obnoxious things. So I kind of blocked everybody other than people whose names I actually recognized from our list. So that was kind of unfortunate. And I apologize if you were one of the ones that tried to get in last time and couldn't, but it's so much fun, you guys, on the Zoom call, right? So Vicki and I think, um, who else? Sabrina has been on there before also. And then I had Natty one time on it. And it's so cool for me to get to see your faces and talk to you and interact better. And then we were showing craft projects and people were running around grabbing stuff from their stash and, and stuff that they've made. So it was really cool. Yes, these trolls, and then they're not fun. So, um, Oh, okay, Heather, I see. So yes, I have a craft channel. It's called um, Elaine Petrakis Midnight Crafter. Oh my gosh, I hope that is not, I gotta decline that call. I hope it was not Mark again. Um, but I, once a month, the first of the month, do a live chat and a drawing for a really cute little bling owl keychain. It's all um, 
what do you call it? Rhinestones, really adorable. And I do that the first of every month. And I also get to chat with everybody and kind of get to know people a little better. Hi, Carolyn. Nice to see you. Of course, Heather, that's what I'm here for to chat with you guys, right? So I would love to answer any questions you might have. And uh, so the latest thing that I'm working on, if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you have Instagram and follow me over there, a lot of times, not a lot, sometimes I will post a picture of the project that is going up before I actually post the project. So you get to see it either earlier that same day or, um, or maybe even a day ahead or something, depending. So do you have one on you? Do, oh, the keychain? I don't. And I hate to run away at this moment and go and dig one out to show you. I used to have them nearby. and But they're about, I don't know, two and a half, three inches tall. They're super cute. And there's like pink or like a brownish color or a sort of a bright greenish one. And they're all sparkly and have little gem eyes in black and they're adorable. So I'm laughing because someone said all the fun new nautical stuff at the Dollar Tree is held up on the barge that was stuck in the Suez Canal. <laughs> I still have not seen any of the nautical stuff. I have not seen... Um, there's a bunch of new things that I'm seeing all these crafters haul and I have not seen any of it. And now uh, Jamie, the crafty DIY guy showed these um, geode looking, um, I don't know what they are. It's a decor piece. Haven't seen those. There's also some marble, I think, no, not marble. There's cement little um, shapes that have metal frame little thing. I guess it's a candle holder or something. Haven't seen those. Um, thanks, Talisa. Excellent. I will let you know when I get it. And if not, um, if you don't hear back from me, like within the next couple of days, Talisa, then please um, email me again because it's EP Midnight Crafter. No, it's not. Scratch that. I keep doing that. EP Midnight Crafter is my Instagram. So follow me over there if you would like to see little things. I post, I try and post my story every day, which is just kind of whatever little things are going on. So for those of you that care <laughs> what I'm doing in my day or whatever, not always, but for the most part, or fun little tidbits or things like that, I, I do post those on my story almost every day on Instagram. So if you like that kind of thing, um, head on over there. And then, um, also, um, where else? Uh, I don't know how many of you are part of the Facebook group, and that is Midnight Crafter Glue Dots. That's kind of fun, too. We have a few people. Carrie, who is on here today, is super active on there. Not everybody is very active on there, which I wish I could get people a little more involved. Um, oh, Evelyn, you found those cement and gold wire thingies? <laughs> I want to find those. I, I, to be honest, I haven't been to Dollar Tree in a good week, probably. So they, they may be there. So, um, so Heather, I have a few craft ideas, which you roll up magazines and make a spiral circle with it can be used for coasters. You know, I started to do a project. So where you make these little spirals and they're all out of uh, newspaper that you rolled up like a straw. I'm pretty sure that's what Heather's talking about. And, um, it is really time consuming to make those. So I started and I did a few and then I gave up because it was a lot of a lot of work and my fingers were killing me. Hi, Joanne. Welcome. Good to see you. Yeah. So um, go ahead over. If you guys are on Facebook, head over and join the Midnight Crafter Glue Dots Facebook page and post post don't just join but post it's really fun we have a couple people that are really really active on there and a lot of them that aren't so i'm trying to find something to incentivize do you guys have any ideas for how i can incentivize people to post more um i did put a thing on there that's gotten a lot of response and it was i don't remember the exact wording but basically it was if you were um about to go into labor and uh, the 
person or people delivering your baby would be from the last show that you watched on TV, who would it end up being? And that one has gotten a crazy response. And it's been really, really funny to read some of those. So for me, it would be the cast of Outlander because that's what we were watching at the time, which I felt like in good hands, but some people were watching paranormal activities, things like that. I thought, how funny, but it, that was really fun. I'm going to try posting a few more of those um, kind of things on there to boost engagement too. Um, yes, Carolyn, please post some new things on there. Um, Heather, how do I do it? I'm new to this and will be my first time doing this type of thing. So I'm not sure which part of how do you do that, but if you have Instagram, you go to the search and look for EP Midnight Crafter and you'll find me there and you can follow and then it will come up in your feed, whatever I post will come up or um, up on the top. If you're not familiar with Instagram, there's the faces of the people who you are following. And if they have a little circle around them, that means that they have a story. So you just touch it and it pulls up their story, which is kind of fun. After you've seen the story, it puts them at the back of the line and like your next people pop up. So, and if it is YouTube, you're already on YouTube here, you go to Midnight Crafter or you go to Elaine Petrakis Midnight Crafter and you can subscribe there and see my craft projects. Um, Facebook, you would just look up Midnight Crafter Glue Dots and you'll find our group there and you should be able to pretty much just join. I don't have it restricted anymore. I made it a public group. Every once in a while, I have to approve a couple people. I'm not sure why that is. So Danielita, hello, my friend. How are you? Uh, Facebook group, Midnight Crafter Glue Dots. So you somehow got, that's funny. I wish, so Heather got a random notification <laughs> about my live video. And then the people that are supposed to be getting them who are actually wanting them are not getting them. So go figure, good old YouTube. Um, well, I'm glad you got it, Heather, and welcome. I'm glad you're I'm glad you're here with us. And I'm glad Danielita's here. She's part of one of my Instagram groups, and we have so much fun in our Instagram groups. I'm telling you, you guys, you have no idea because now being part of YouTube, I had no idea until I joined some of these Instagram groups that are YouTubers or Instagrammers that do crafting. We are so lucky as crafters to have the crafting community because it is such an amazing group. And I know I throw the word out amazing a lot, but I am not kidding you. Crafting women that at least whoever is in within the circles that I'm in are such compassionate, kind, amazing, supportive women and men, we do have some men too. So I don't want to discount that. But the people who are crafters who are part of this, they're like no other. And there's so many people within the YouTube community that have a really hard time with people and with other YouTubers and that. But all of us as crafters, it seems like we're all there to support each other and to, to really write. And Danielita can, and can speak to that too, because it's just been incredible. And I've really made some great friends there. So I'm trying to see here. Um, let's see. Um, the Facebook, <laughs> Facebook group, Midnight Crafter Glue Dots is the Facebook group. Yep. Danielita says, yes, who knew there would be so many supportive, talented people? I thought I'd be alone on this journey. And you know what? For I just... I thought I had been doing YouTube a little longer than I had. I looked up today. My official crafting start on YouTube was March 31st of 2019. So it's been just over three years. I mean, almost, well, I guess I'm in a month. <coughs> but for some reason, I thought I was coming closer to four years. And um, anyway, so it's been quite a journey. Um and I have to say, I'm enjoying it. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult and grueling and challenging, but you know, everybody in this community is so supportive and all of you as subscribers are just so great and so supportive. And I feel like I have 80,000 friends, 80,000 more friends that 
you know, I may not know you face to face, but it's really great having you here. So, and Tammy, as I said earlier, Tammy has been super supportive too. She was also part of my, I did a five day crafting confidence challenge and Tammy was a part of that. I try and do different events. Um, gosh, Heather, you know what? I will show you back here. So this big, uh, this I can't, I'm doing it backwards. This big thing was from Pier One and I made a mini version of it right here, which is one of my most popular videos to date. And then I also have this bird cage um, or birdhouse um, clock that I did. And then this bowl over here. I know you don't have a very clear view of it close up because but um, that's some of the stuff I've made. I tend to, um, hi Ninja Gaming. Uh, I tend to like more the glam and modern type of DIYs. I did start out doing a lot of um, farmhouse mixed in with that, but I'm really finding that my groove and my jam is glam. So I'm trying to be true to myself and kind of stick more to that. Yes, Della, when are you going to make that, girl? A lot of people have made that um, mosaic thing and really are enjoying it. So it's a fun project. Um, so Ninja Gaming, I'm great. Thank you. And I appreciate that you are here. Uh, gosh, now the comments are going so fast. It's hard to read them. <laughs> I have been, yeah, Carolyn, I've been crafting for a lot more than four years. Um, as a kid, crafting was always something that I enjoyed doing. And even I think I came out of my mother with a glue gun and glitter. So I have always enjoyed crafting. Um, yes, the picture on the wall, not the big one. Here, let me grab the little one and I'll show you closer up. I have two of them. So this is the smaller one that I did to kind of mimic the one or to my, my dupe on the, the big one. But this was a really fun, fun project. And I really love doing stuff like that more. And I'm going to, I've also done, um, I've also done, I'm doing a little bit of redecorating inside. And so my most recent video from last week is a giant piece that I did for over my fireplace. And it looks like a big marble um, picture actually, or like almost like those paint pours. So um, thank you. I'm glad you like it, Heather. So you also made that big painting. Yay. I love that. So... Danielita says too, she's working on sticking true to herself. It's hard because we do get caught up in wanting to do what's going to work for our channels to grow or what we think is going to work. But I feel like for one thing, the Dollar Tree crafting thing is getting completely crazy, oversaturated. And I, I don't know. Um, I like doing stuff with Dollar Tree items, but I am venturing out of that a bit too, because I really want people, I don't know, to, I don't want to be boxed into that. And I also, though I like farmhouse decor, uh, I don't like the cutesy farmhouse decor for me, but I like farmhouse decor. I put some of it at our cabin, but I don't have anywhere to put it here. And our cabin is tiny. So there's only so much I can put. I also try and be really practical about what people can use, right? I don't want to make stuff First off, again, that's something that everybody keeps doing and keeps doing um, because I, I feel like that's just really boring. And there's only so many signs I can make, you know, that say home. Right. So I'm really trying. Um, hi, Amy. Welcome. I'm really trying to do stuff that's different. And a long time ago, before I even had my YouTube channel. I went to a thrift store and I found these really cool blue um, candlesticks and these really fun dishes and I glued them together and I have nuts in these now and I've had this for years over here. So I've done a lot of little things and they're, I feel like they're just everywhere. Here's another thing that I had made next to the clock up here. Um, that's another one of my videos as well. But my house is 
really becoming overrun with these things. So I was talking to one of my neighbors and we are thinking that we're going to try and put together like a mini neighborhood craft fair so we can sell our stuff because um, he's a craft crafty guy too. He makes these giant wooden boxes for people to put to, uh, their Amazon deliveries to go into to where they're protected from porch pirates. So um, thanks, Sabrina. I really do try and make things that are different. And it's really hard because when you're all, we've been talking about this a lot in um, another crafter was just mentioning that when we're all buying the supplies from Dollar Tree, so the same place, and um, we're all, there's only so much you can do with these things, right? And yes, there are different twists on different things, but if we don't venture out to some other unique items, then you're kind of stuck, right? And it's inevitable that you're gonna be seeing 40,000 three-tiered trays or tiered trays, um, or glue this piece to this piece and put a candle in it, right? So I want things to be different. And that's why I'm really trying to kind of maybe, I don't know if it's revamping what I do necessarily, but to really make it interesting, right? And give you guys stuff that is different and useful and not something that you have to worry about taking it apart because you have another project you want to make with it. I want it to be something you can have and do something with. So um, yeah, yeah, Vicki, I agree. We want to find the cheapest things to try and utilize. So the thing with that is that a lot of times thrift stores are a great source for that. Um, and a lot of times um, just recyclable materials in your home or trash, right? Literally trash to treasure type things. So um, <laughs> when these are long, they're harder to read quickly. So thank you, Carolyn, for being here. And I hope your rest of the day and your rest of the week go really well, too. I appreciate you being here with us. So anyway, um, let's see. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now, where my head is at with my crafts. Um, if I can use Dollar Tree supplies, I will, but I'm gonna probably might like this last DIY that's gonna hopefully, if I ever sit and get editing today, hopefully is gonna get done and up by tomorrow, I'm gonna work my tail off to try and make that happen. Um, but something I was gonna ask you guys, those of you that are here, obviously some of my more diehards, if you can help me out by sharing my channel and I don't, my goal here is not just to up my subscriber count because I've really come to realize that it's not the number of subscribers you have that makes a successful channel because out of 80, almost 81,000 subscribers, there's probably, I don't know, 3,000 that are watching on a regular basis or 2,000, right? So if you wouldn't mind sharing my channel with someone that you think would really enjoy the type of content that I'm making, that's what really helps my channel out a lot. Or if you um, watch it, obviously that helps. Engage you know, in the chat, even if you just say hi in the chat, that is really helpful as well. Um, I do not sew, I do sew, but I don't sew on my channel. I took sewing as a teenager in high school. I've made some of my own clothes when I was a teenager, but it's just not something that I do. Um, honestly, I can't say that I enjoy it much anymore. I don't knit or crochet either. Um, so those are some of the things that I don't do. I, I just, I don't know. I kind of, whatever, whatever the spirit moves me that day and brings me, I just go with it. So this new project that hopefully will be going up tomorrow is using those floating shelves that you can find at Dollar Tree. And I had been wanting to use those for a long time. I finally came up with a project and I actually, it's one of those projects that I really, really, really like and have it displayed in my home and I feel good about displaying it. So those are the, the my most favorite projects, the ones that I can, that I can actually display. Um, thanks, Heather. That would be great. 
So look, for somebody new, you're like in there, in it to win it, girl. I love that. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Um, Susan, we started at two. I always, I try and be really consistent with, actually, I take that back. We started at 2.03 because I got a late start. Um, but I always try and be consistent with that. And 99% of the time, I do it on the first of the month at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 5 p.m. Eastern. I always get Central and Mountain mixed up. One of them is 3 o'clock, one of them is 4 o'clock, but I can never remember which one. Um, but I, I'm pretty consistent with that. There have been a couple times, one where I completely spaced it out, and that I think that has happened twice to me, or something has come up that I just couldn't be on. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Does anybody know, do you do an at a person's name or do a hashtag in a person's name on YouTube to have them? I don't know how that, I don't remember how that works. I think it is hashtag. I think it is for here. You know, it's funny. Every platform has its different things. Some are the at, some are the hashtag, some are, I don't know what, so just whatever. But, um, oh, let's see. Yeah. Cross stitching is great. If you're stuck, sorry to hear that. And if you're stuck, you know, sitting and you can't, or you, you know, in, or you're in bed or something, cross stitch or crochet or knitting and that kind of stuff is really great to do because it's a tidier type of a craft and you don't have the messy glues and all that stuff. But I do want to, again, so I was talking in the very beginning when I started this live. Um, I do want to, again, do a shout out to Mark Montano. So if those of you on here did not hear me talking about him, and um, or if you don't know who he is, please go over to his YouTube, check him out. Or if you're on Instagram, he does a great um, little, very short little one minute uh, craft clips on Instagram. His style is very bright and colorful and super creative, an uh, incredibly creative guy and uh, very unique DIYs too. So go over there. He has been so helpful and really reached out to me as well after I reached out to him. I mean, he's been just so, so incredibly helpful in teaching me things and, and wanting me to succeed. And that's pretty, pretty amazing because not all these people want to help someone else because if they, a lot of people feel like it's a competition, right? Like they want to have the most subscribers and they don't want someone else to catch up to them, but talk about a man with a heart of gold. That's one. And I really, I really want to support him. And if you guys support him too, that is awesome. So let's see what I'm missing here. Missing. I'm missing. She's, I read hashtag and said missing. <laughs> um, let's see. The boho style. I like boho style too, but it doesn't fit my home. So I make those. I give some to my sister, but I don't really know what to do with them. And um, Mark Montano, M-O-N-T-A-N-O. Um, Mark Montano. So, um, yeah, anyway. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know that there's really much more else to talk about. I'm trying to think what's up and coming for me. What are you guys doing for Mother's Day? That's what I would like to know. We actually are going to be going to going, going to go. We are staying here for Mother's Day. Everybody's coming over to my house, but we are going to the cousin that I was talking about earlier, that the one that lives three hours away. We're going to go visit him a little bit right before Mother's Day and then come back in a mad dash to get the house ready for Mother's Day for everybody to come over. And I just feel like I'm always flying by the seat of my pants <laughs> and always everything last minute, but I don't know. It just works for me that way. Um, Yes, I agree. Tony says, as they say, what works for you doesn't work for everybody. You do some interesting crafts that are wonderful to look at. Keep it going, please. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I I hope that people will continue because the, the biggest thing is, even if my craft is a glam craft, 
there's always a way, whether it's paint color or trim or something that you can modify the very project that I'm making and make it a, a, a boho style or make it a farmhouse style if that's what your style is. But I, I feel like that's a big part of creativity that people um, they undercut themselves in or they underestimate themselves in, don't give themselves enough credit for. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you get the gist of it, that sometimes we feel like we need to copy exactly and that we don't know how to do it if we don't copy it exactly. But I challenge you all to look into your creativity a little deeper and think, which a lot of you already do, but for those of you that don't, Look outside of it. Think what different paint color, what different trim could I use? What different um, stones could I put on there or embellishments that would make it fit more my style? Um, don't dismiss anybody's craft projects because you go, oh, you know, oh, that's a that's a farmhouse style. It's not my style or that's a glam style. It's not my style. You know, look at all of them and see how you can change things up. You know, do you change the twine or the rope for chain? you know, and then hang crystals on it. If, if that's, you know, a farmhouse style that you saw that you want to change or a boho style that you want to change, do you vice versa, take something that was blingy and um, with, with chains and garlands and stuff and change that to some kind of twine or rope or macrame or something like that. Um, so Susan's going to visit mom and dad since they can't travel. That's great. Where are they, Susan? Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, you're not allowed to go, Della. Where, Della, remind me where you are. I don't know if I know that. Thank you for coming on here, Tammy. You have a great rest of the day, too. Um, DIY Mother's Day. Okay, so I feel, oh, okay. So for your spouse's mother who has since passed. Okay, so another project I did. Hang on, it's close by. I'm gonna grab it. I think it still is. I'm breaking stuff. It's not really, but okay, sorry. Another project I did that a lot of people thought would make a really great um, memorial pick for somebody or something for someone who has passed was these uh, these angel wings and I did a mini version of them for my YouTube channel and then I did I think did I do a YouTube no I don't think I ever did a video a YouTube video with the large version of them but I made a huge version of them also for my family room so that's a really great project. And believe it or not, it's an easy one. So if you need um, something for someone who has passed, in fact, oh my gosh, that's what I wanted to mention to you guys. How did I almost forget this? Speaking of, because I think I'm going to actually give this, that just reminded me. So those of you who have followed me for a while and who saw the video, I have my video of my Miss Kay, my client and friend who was 100 years old, and I did a video on her 100th birthday, and I made her a crown. So I have that video up and gave her the crown, and she absolutely loved it. And then um, through quarantine, I had not been able to see her, and she turned 101 in January, which was incredible. So, but with sadness, she passed away a few days ago. And though I'm very sad, I truly am very sad. She was a woman like no other, but you know, 101 and a quarter. And she lived such a great life and everybody loved her and she loved everybody. And I'm going to, uh, tomorrow's the funeral of it. Well, Wednesday's the funeral. So I'm going to be going to that. But I think that's where this set of wings is going to be going is for my Miss Kay. Just really, really a special person. So, but those of you, because I have had some of you ask me over the last year how Miss Kay is doing and how Queen, how the Queen is doing. The Queen has passed away, unfortunately. So um let me go back and read some of these comments because i was running around let's see um so della okay you said you have restrictions so i don't know where you're located um 
And Evelyn, you and your brother are fixing your mother's house. That's kind of nice. That's really nice. Um, yeah, our restrictions are, have been lifted. I'm in Northern California, um, but we, um, gosh, okay. We don't have the restriction in my area for that. So you can still, um, restaurants have started to open up with some limited seating, you know, spaced seating. Um, we do still have to wear masks in all the public places, the stores and stuff. I'm not sure if it's mandatory just walking around though. I, I'm not sure on that part, but um, gosh, the wind picked up out here. Um, but, you know, with family, we're going to be pretty much mostly outside because we have a really big yard and it's nice to be able to everybody hang out. Something just fell from the ceiling. I don't, I don't even know what that was. Something white. Maybe that was Miss K dropping me down a little, I don't know, angel wing or something. Um, did I made the angel wings out of caulk? from the Dollar Tree. So this project here cost me um, a dollar for the frame and then I spray painted it. And then a dollar for the caulk that I made this out of. And then I think I paid a few dollars for um, some of the, the background here is actually, I'm trying to get that glare gone for you guys. The background here is actually crushed velvet that I got from Joanne Fabrics, but it's reasonably inexpensive and you don't need a very big piece. So for, I would say less for around $5 or less, you can make that, um, that project. So, um, Oh, lockdowns in Vancouver. Yeah. I know you guys are still really locked down. So Tennessee, I've never been to Tennessee. So maybe we'll have to do a swap. <laughs> Alithos Anesti, I have a Greek on here who said to me in Greek or said to all of us in Greek, Christos Anesti, which means Christ is risen. And the response is Alithos Anesti, which is truly he is risen. Um, let's see, limited seating. Yeah, but I mean, it's nice. I'm grateful. But even with limited seating, I'm grateful to be able to go indoors, right? And sit down. I feel like you can go out to a restaurant and sit down. So, um, all right, gang. Well, let's see. At this point, do me a favor. I just spotted. I don't know what made me think. Somebody, a few of you have given me a thumbs up. If you wouldn't mind, hit the thumbs up. I just, I think that'd be kind of cool to see that number right now go up. I don't know why. I just, it would be. I don't know. <laughs> what language is this? It's in Greek, actually. Yeah, I am Greek. So I did my, my, I don't think I did 23 and me. I think I did the other one and I'm definitely most Greek and a little, I don't remember what the rest was. It doesn't really matter. Right. So, all right, gang, I saw my, my number of thumbs up went up by one. Um, by two now. Yay. So, look for the video to come out tomorrow. I'm going to do everything in my power to get that done. I have to put together the coffee table that I picked up today. So that's part of the things that needs to get done too at some point, maybe later tonight, try editing the video first and then put the coffee table together. And then tomorrow, tomorrow I've got the, I've got a bunch of stuff and I still do hair. So I'm trying to, I have a client coming tomorrow to, I don't really do hair, but I kind of do hair, but a little bit here and there. So um, awesome. Thank you all for being here, for spending your time with me today. And I appreciate, oh, yay. I love seeing them in there too. That's awesome. Um, and I thank you guys for your patience for not that I wasn't on on Saturday when I should have been the first. Saturday was the first, right? Or yeah. Um and today's Monday. I don't even know what day it is anymore. It's just, it's, just oh, it's all a blur. So I appreciate you all. And I look forward to next month. No Zoom call today. This call went, this call, this live went a little longer. And 
if you want to see a video tomorrow from me, I need to have some time to edit. So no time for a Zoom call today. But in the meantime, those of you that don't have Zoom, see if you can sign up for it. Catch me next time on the 1st, and we can try and do a Zoom call on June 1st and also do this live. And um, I don't know. I guess that's everything. Have a fabulous and amazing and positive positive and uplifting rest of the day. And I will catch you all next time. Mwah!